a reading from the first letter of Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father Him who judges impartially according to each one's works, conduct yourselves with reverence during the time of your sojourning, realizing that you are ransomed from your futile conduct, handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a spotless, unblemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday is taken from the first letter of Peter. We have been reflecting on our need for conversion in order to recognize the risen Lord. In the first reading, Peter, in his address to the Jews, said that, of course, you know what Jesus did in your midst. You put him to death. You did not recognize him as someone sent by God, but God raised him back to life. How did Peter guide his hearers towards conversion so that they would recognize Jesus as the Messiah? He used scriptures. He used a text with which the Israelites were familiar, one of the Psalms from David. And so with the help of scriptures, hopefully, people would understand the event of Christ. And the event of Christ would help them see how scripture has been fulfilled. So a pure a pure heart that is open to the Word of God is a heart that could be converted in order to see Jesus. In the second reading, Peter again proposes something. He tells his readers in this uh, first letter that they had been ransomed from their old life not with any object or any event. They were ransomed at the cost of the blood of Christ. That is how precious we are. We were ransomed not by any small amount (laughs) that someone had to pay, no. It took the life of Jesus in order to take us out of slavery to sin. And Peter tells them, his hearers, his readers, thanks to Jesus and thanks to his new life in the resurrection, you have been brought to God. You have become believers in God. As though telling the people, Without Jesus' resurrection, you would have no God. You would not have any relationship with God. And also, thanks to your relationship with God, you now have hope, faith and hope. Because of your faith in God, now you have a future that you can look forward to, not a nebulous, dark, no, a open-ended future. With your faith in God, now you know your future is in God also. The glory that God will share with you. A beautiful vision, thanks to Jesus' resurrection. Now, we might accept that as a beautiful teaching, but will we believe in it? Will we see Jesus truly as the bringer of life, faith, and hope to us? How could we be converted? so that we can see this more clearly. If in the first reading, scriptures are proposed for our conversion, here in the second reading, Peter is quite blunt. Change your lives. Don't go back 
to your futile, your useless way of life. The old life that had led you away from God and made your life without hope. Now, don't go back to that. Conduct yourselves now in a way befitting the gift that you have received. So here, something very practical. Look into your lives. And if your life is one of darkness, you will not see Jesus. You will not see his gift. But if you conduct your life according to the faith and the hope that Jesus has given you, then that light will make you see Jesus and appreciate him more. So here, it is not just the Word of God, but the quality of our lives that will help us see Jesus. So this never-ending process of making my life, making my life tree, truly deserving of the gift we have received, this change in behavior, attitude, decisions, this change will lead us to a brighter vision of our faith and the hope that Jesus has won for us.